So the September release of Power BI came out and I want to do a quick video showing you a couple of the nice new features and also take this time to show you a couple of other features that came out fairly recently. Let's go. So the first thing I want to show you is the new button images you can do. So this is a button. Shall I change the chart type? So on hover, I can click and there we go. We've got a much better chart and then I can change it back. So images on hover. So how do we do those? Well, when you insert a button, so insert um, buttons, blank button. Okay, under the button option, you now have under fill the ability to add an image. Okay, and I just got these images from PowerPoint. I just went insert picture stock images, went to cut out people, added a person. Okay, so here's the person, right click on them, save as picture, and then I use that picture into my buttons and you can change it on hover, on press, etc. So there we go. Images for buttons. Awesome. The other nice feature is the ability now to put labels underneath or to the left or to the right of your um, icon. So under here, under icon, you've now got icon placement left, right, above or below which is great, okay? So I can put it to the right, I can put it to the left, above, perfect, all good. Right, next one I wanna show you is the line series labels. Um, so let's say you just had a chart like this and you were trying to show you know, various items and the legend is down here. Well, it's quite hard to see that so a nicer option, okay, is under the paint roller now, if I click on the chart and I go to series labels on, and there's a few options under there. You can actually manually maintain the color, but now here's my label. And if I do the 40 to 44 year olds, okay, and the labels appear next to them. There's still a bit of work to be done here, and when they overlap, it's not great to see they sort of knock each other out. That's now disappeared. You don't need the legend anymore though. And it can, for a couple of lines, it could actually be quite nice. So there we go, series labels. Um, small multiples, not brand new, but relatively new. Been out a while now. So what are small multiples? Well, let's say I've got a chart like this, the old stacked column. Probably not the best way of presenting this data because it sort of masks the solar water heaters here, the blue lines. So what you do in the legend, you've got description currently. I'm going to put that into my small multiples box. And now I've got two separate charts in one. And it easily sees, much more clear to see the decline here for solar water heaters. Um, within the settings for small multiples, you've got the... Um, so a few settings under here, positions and things like this, but the main thing is the grid layout. So you can say I want it to be two rows by three columns, depending on the number of items you've got. So yeah, small multiples, pretty nice. Um, the zoom slider, again, in here, you can sort of zoom in so I can see all the proper labels at the top now if I get into the individual days and stuff like this. So you can, focus in and out and move these as a group or zoom along, which is all good. That little setting is under zoom slider, okay? You can turn it on for the Y axis. Not sure I'd recommend doing that, but you can. Um, so zoom slider, pretty cool. And the last one, I've done a whole video on this, but I'll just flag it up to people again and put a link to the actual video about Power Automate. So the Power Automate custom visual you know, basically with that, you can go um, 
and maybe select a few items here, construction and mining. So that I've just picked two options. I want to capture that selection in an Excel spreadsheet. Maybe think about somebody submitting the annual leave, picking some dates and clicking on capture my selection. It then moves that selection to an Excel file and sends an alert to my phone. So let's give this a go. It's triggering it. Let's see, wait for the bing. Come on, it's gonna, there we go. Okay, so that data has now been pushed to that Excel file or is currently being pushed. So let me open up the Excel file. Let's open it up on a different screen here. And now we can see that construction's already hit. And if we give it a few seconds, I'm not touching anything. Power Automate will push that second item through. There we go, mining. So there we go, a few new features. I'll put a link to this Power Automate, how I set that sort of thing up um, above. And let me know if you like it. Please share if you find this stuff useful and I'll catch you later.